So, so this is series, obviously not super critical. Probably my least favorite part of any run ever. Reason being, uh, that room right there that coming back, it. like all the steam coming back, really. Oh yeah, um, and it's uh, if I were to say that it's not RNG based, I'd be lying because it is. Um, when you go it's, in the room, it is it and isn't. I've noticed doing it a lot that you get a lot of the exact same patterns at the exact same time. Yeah, I'm, so well, I mean, it's not like there's a whole bunch of different range between when it can start and when it goes. Uh, but it, it it is a little random um, because sometimes you'll get there and you can just run through them and you can get like a really good time getting out because of it and then other times they get in your way and you have to like stop and then go right because like my best time is like a 43 something and I think that's like with uh, with like no resistance whatsoever yeah I think the best I've done maybe is a mid-44. Uh, and I know in this uh, tutorial I could have done a little bit better. But um, a damage boost off those ceiling tiles is incredibly hard. One of the best tricks you want to do on that is make sure you're doing a spinning jump, by the way. And then uh, Holy geez, you're aiming 45? for that. Holy jeez, 45? Yeah. You're Jeez. aiming for the uh, for one of the seal t ceiling tiles dropping down, and those are a lot more random than the steam. Like the steam may start at different times depending on when you enter the room, but it like always goes in the same pattern. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I usually like that room when the steam comes out as soon as you go through the door, um, like as soon as you're coming out, so yeah. that it's already done. You can run and jump. But dang, forty-five. That's 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 intense. That's actually pretty crappy compared to, like, what the people go for nowadays. Like, they go for 46s yeah, and 47s. But, yeah, but for me, that's that's intense. Yeah. Because, you uh, know, I, I never... I only used uh, damage boosts really in areas that I've seen people use them, so... Trying to... Okay, well, well hopefully you'll learn a few new damage boosts here, too, because I well, found some one. nice ones. <laughs> yeah, that's um, one for sure. T typically, you want to go down... Uh, on the right side of the door there, just because you're going down the right side in the next room. There's a lot yeah. of a uh, lot of planning for the next room as to how you exit certain rooms in this run. Man, and that platforming uh, is a huge, huge problem of mine too. Yeah, Getting that that is entirely oh. just timing and like knowing how long to hold down your jump button, and it's yeah. it's hard to do. I get it, maybe once every four times or something like that. Yeah. So damage boosting, uh, while we're kind of at a lull here, obviously you get Morphing Ball Missile Bomb. That's that's your first set. So, But while we're at a lull, let's go ahead and try and explain damage boosting for those who don't know. Um, what you want to do is you want to jump at the thing that you're damage boosting. Right before you hit it, you want to turn away from the direction you want to go, still holding jump, and then when you hit it, like right after you hit it, you press the direction that you want to go, and you have to be holding jump while you hit it, or else you won't damage yeah. it. Um, and depending on how long you hold jumps, changes how far you're going to go. So if you want to go exactly. long distance, you're obviously going to hold it, but if you want to stop at a certain point, then you need to let go. Well, yeah, if you let go of either the direction or jump, you will cancel out of the damage boost. Yeah. Which is kind of yeah. nice. So, going back, you really pretty much want to do the exact same thing you did going in. And just jump across the platform, as you just want to be shooting as well, and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, a little, little trip up on that climb there, but that's not too bad. And uh, that little shot that I just did there is called a hero shot, it's where you shoot at something that's off screen, and then you wall jump up to follow the shot, so if the shot hits it. Uh, that's really the only place that I'm capable of applying the hero shot, although there is there are other places that you can do it. Right. Actually, I've stuck one in the ending now. 
missile trick is very hard to do. It's very easy to blow a missile if you try and shoot them that early. Yeah, uh, that's that's always an issue that I'll have if I shoot too fast and on this one. Generally, I play a lot more conservatively than this. I'll um, I'll just like get right up next to the door and shoot it. So that positioning right there, do you see how uh, Samus's foot was like right on that little crack right there? Yep. The way I look at it, you see this four vent in the background. It's got like four slits in it. Not the crack below that, but the one just to the right of it. That's where I try to put the front of her foot. And yep. as long as you're crouching, um, Chozo will not hit you. He'll just he'll swing and then he'll jump back. Yeah. So that's how I do that. And fight. then um, and then there's uh, when he's at the wall, there's a spot there too. Yeah. Uh, typically, I just try and, and not get hit, although it's hard not to get hit in that fight later on and kill him quickly. So, But as long as you don't get hit the first time and you're capable of shooting um, enough missiles or enough of those little pods to get enough missiles that you can kill them kind of in one round, yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, that escape out of the Chozo, by the way, let's talk about that for a sec. Um, that one is really hard to do, and I remember for a long time I used to have the, the, the biggest trouble with it, even knowing how to do it. So what you got to do is you got to wall jump up to like, like you know those overhangs that come out, mm -hmm. like kind of at the bottom of those. We got another yep. big trick coming up. This just isn't working, <laughs> but um, you know, you just wall jump at the overhangs, and the way I do it is I do that last wall jump going to the right. And then I roll my controller like a half circle to the left. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think that that's pretty much typically what I do as well, to be honest. Um, I'll usually just roll it down, like, you know, because you have to hit right and jump, or left and jump to, uh, you know, to get over there, and then you just roll it down. So. Right, and I'm, I'm probably going to try and uh, create little individual trick videos uh, but yeah I just want to get this route down so that right there and also getting up to the super missiles early uh, that was called a mock ball and the way that's performed is you have to be running you have to hold jump basically the whole time uh, to maintain your air momentum and then uh, you press down once in the air and then right as you're about to land you press down and then roll it to forward again I like to think of it as sort of like doing a fireball right before you land. Sort of, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a way to put it. But, like, I only probably ran this game for like a month. Um, and then like any percent, I probably did for a week and a half. Um, I just started watching Cassius do it, and then after that... I pretty much just integrated most of the stuff that he does, except for uh, the Fantoon 2 round, of course, because I can't, I can't do that. I've tried, I can't do it. Like, I know I could probably do it if I practiced it more, mm -hmm. but it's just I don't have the time to do that, you know. I have too much stuff going on. Um, well, we'll talk about the 2 round a little bit um, yeah. when we get to Fantoon. Yeah. Right. But, um... But yeah, I mean, uh, the, these basic tricks aren't really that hard to pick up. I mean, like, Chronic said, he picked it up in really just about a week and a half. So. Yeah. Yeah, and after I learned how to mock ball, the way I did it was basically the short hop all the time. Like, I never really did the, the normal one. I pretty much always did the short hop. Right. And the short hop, basically, you let go of the jump button to cap off your jump, but you press it again right away so you can maintain your momentum yeah. when you let go of uh, the direction you're going. Yep. So that right there was a, a quick fall on those dissolving blocks. What happens is if you turn right when you land on them, you will fall faster through them. Uh, it's a little dangerous to do it in that particular spot because uh, if you quick fall the wrong way, you can end up getting grabbed by the little yapping maw. I hate those things. Yeah. Otherwise. Sometimes, if you're not careful, you can actually die there. If you get oh, yeah. grabbed. Oh yeah, I've died there before. Mm -hmm. So I.
interesting thing here is uh, it's I, you know I, I learned a lot of this from you is it's good to conserve your health reason being that if you have like 30 health or less when you get to that point he's not going to give you supers exactly he's going to give you health and then you're you have to go through the door and then go back to get them although That's, although finally the reason why I started conserving my health is because of hundred uh, percent going up to the early power bombs so they right. just get eaten by that stupid nom room right and then like here obviously you need right. the supers for this right so the thing with crate is if you happen to hit him on the exact frame um, like not not where his mouth is widest open but the frame before that then it'll just hang open for a little bit and you can just keep shooting supers in his mouth. Yep. And that exactly. is entirely, like, pretty much intuition, although I've heard uh, what you can do is you can wait for his eyes to flash, and then when they're done flashing, that's when you can time your supers. I don't know, I usually just wait for, um... I guess I just wait when he first starts opening it. I guess is usually when I go. But I guess I probably only do that because I know the timing. So this room, you want to jump through at your highest, and it'll set up those guys so they're really easy to deal with like that. Like, they totally weren't in the way there. Yeah, I noticed that. And just pointing a missile up and shooting kills all those guys quickest way to do it is just gather them up all on you and then shoot a missile up and, and they're all dead that mock ball very hard to do right there yeah I don't think I've ever tried it I'd say most of the time I just kind of chicken out and just you know I just usually let just myself jump across. land anyway yeah yeah it's way easier to jump across if you try and mock ball your your window for actually making the jump becomes way smaller so don't forget to shoot that gray door before you continue on to the high jump. You want to shoot that guy and then shoot the gray door. So that way you don't have to, you know, shoot the guy again. Right, you don't have to wait around for him, wasting precious seconds. Because in a speedrun, we all know seconds add up very quickly. They really do. Mm-hmm. You know, I always think I'm doing worse than I actually am. Um... Because I did this absolute crap run the other night. It was so bad. I missed the, I missed the quick kill. I have a six round Fantoon. Oh Six man. rounds. My Dragon wasn't that great. Really was okay, but I just had all these mistakes. There were so many mistakes. Oh, uh, it was it was a hundred percent. But I, you know, when you get the, right before you you get gravity pretty much when you're outside, mm -hmm. up top. You know uh, that one missile where you have to shoot the super missile block? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Like, yeah, okay, well, get this. I ran out of supers, and I didn't make it out in time. Oh. I had to fall through the block and go all the way back through the wreck ship. Jeez. And I tied my best time. You still got a 108. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that could have been like a 106 game. or something. So here's a new damage Probably boost that I found. Because there were a lot of errors. Um, damage boosting off of the cactus? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. One. I've never seen anyone else do that, so... No, I haven't either. So, uh, what I did there is I farmed the guys before going into super uh, speed booster because uh, I think it's faster. Uh, not much faster, but you want to get four super missiles. Right. Uh, as long as you have at least four, you're good. Yeah. I typically aim for three, but... Well, you want to get four so that you can open. do the first one on the speed booster door. And then right. you have that's, wave yeah, beam I mean. and... Um, uh, ice beam. There's the door to... Yeah, there's the door to get into the place before wave, and then there's the wave door itself, and then there's ice. Right. Which is usually why I grab three, but you grab four because you want to open the speed booster door as well. Right. You and can use normal missiles dragon. on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite in the game. It really is. I love it. Um, so one thing that you may not have noticed is I just ran over those gaps. 
uh, and the only way I was able to do that is through a trick called down backing. When you're in the air, if you press down and back, then you'll like continue your momentum forward. And it like raises your hitbox a little, so you can basically effectively just run across the gaps. It's pretty weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that damage boost you just did right there is something that I, I actually did try to incorporate that myself. It's, um, it's pretty hard to pull off consistently, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. But that that is one that I did, I did look for. But it's only reason being is because like normally if you try and jump across, you'll get hit by the spikes and waste time. Okay, so what I just did there with the bombs is when you drop a bomb, if you're in the middle of crouching or uncrouching, um, when the bomb goes off, you won't get bounced up. So it's kind of a handy way of not having to, like, jump up to avoid getting the bounce. But, yeah. So, I'm interested to see, uh, when we get to Fancy, and I want to see what you do nowadays. <laughs> I do the two-round. Uh... Um, in this in this movie, it's quite optimized. Um, basically, I just kept doing the fight over and over until I got a really good one. Um, right. So that mock ball, incredibly difficult to time. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it's it's tough to even you know land on the platform in general sometimes. Exactly. And the one um, going under the gate always gets me. A lot of people do that one with two of the little uh, platform dudes. Mm. And I found when I was doing that that I was jumping too far across, so I wouldn't end up starting my mock ball until the next room. And if you start your mock ball in the next room, it doesn't matter how fast you're going, because you have that extra frame or two just sitting there, you know, you don't get you don't get to yeah. go under the gate. Yeah, that that's always my problem, is that it starts in that room, and it's just like, well, why even try? And then I've, I have to, like, yeah. try to get out through the ceiling. But uh, I found, if I only do the left one, I force myself to jump early enough that I never end up hitting the mock ball too late. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But I love how fast you get up that tunnel. Yeah. The trick with that, of course, is, um, you know, making sure you have enough speed, which won't be a problem as long as you run the full distance across, even if you freeze that guy a little bit closer to the platform than I did. Yeah. So you're fast. This is a 40 now. Yeah. Pretty stinking good. You know, Cash has ended up faster. getting a... Uh, Cash has ended up getting a 36. Yeah. No, I apparently. saw it the first time he got it. Because he got a 37, yeah. but he had saved right before Mother Brain. And I was like, try the murder beam. I bet this run would be a 36 with the murder beam. And he did it, and it was a 36. So, so this room, you yeah. want to jump up on the left side because of that platform right there. And make sure you drop your power bombs. You want to, you know, get all those power bomb doors open. Um, right. So that you don't have to drop power bombs on your way back. Now, it is possible to do a one shot here. I didn't do it in this movie because number one, it takes up a lot of energy, and number two, it requires. Um, you need four missiles going into the ship, and I, I only had four super missiles right here. So instead, what I did is I just went across, went through the door, did a super short, and then um, did that shine spark there. Yeah, I, I still can't do the super short right. Not reliable whatsoever. Okay, well, we'll talk about the super short in a little bit. Uh, it's not especially necessary for an any percent run. It just, I can do it, so I like to throw it in. So let's talk about Fantoon real quick. So Fantoon has uh, 2,500 health, and every 400 health, he disappears, so you can't hit him. 
So uh, what we do here is, uh, first off, you want to equip your power bombs like so. You want to equip it so you have charge, wave, and spacer, and then um, fire two shots of that. Unequip your spacer, and then do a power bomb combo at exactly the right time. Um, yeah. The timing on that is really uh, so. So I do. I have a special timing that I do here to make sure that I get this right, and I'm not great at it, but. Basically, you have to come up with your own timing way. I mean, I've, I've heard of other people's timing methods, and they don't really work for me, so... Um. And then for, for the end there, you uh, just do another charge shot. Yeah, one shot of charge wave, wave spacer, spacer, and then a missile and a super missile is the fastest way, because you can, like, pretty much auto-fire those if you go missile, super missile. Yep. Yeah, I'm still sticking to my uh, two-step, which is still a lot slower. It takes a lot longer to build up. Yeah. Like I said, if I had more time, I'd I'd get all this stuff down. You you know I would. Oh yeah. If I spent a lot more time on it. I I feel like given how much time you've spent at this game, that you're just better at it than me. You just aren't as well practiced. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say I'm better than you. Honestly, I mean, g g you have given, given the now. amount of times you practiced, or and the amount of time I've practiced, I don't know. So that trick right there is very simple. You just hold um, a mind binding is R, so it's angle up, and then you jump at the little gap, and then jump again as soon as you land on it. Um, that that charge right there is just a regular charge. It's not short. It's not super sharp. And just, you know, starting from the right side, running across. Yeah, and uh, I don't know how to do midair shine sparks. Okay, that's a, that's a good, good point to bring up real quick. So, um, first off, upcoming right here is a shine spark that is totally optional and very hard to do. So I wouldn't even mess with it most of the time. I mean, I try and get the shine spark, but I just end up, you know, typically jumping across the thing and, and bouncing across the spikes. But uh, to do an aerial shine spark, the way I just did it, uh, there's several ways you can do it, but I'll tell you my way, uh, which I learned from Forensics and Snuffit, who are also great Super Metroid players. So when you jump in the air, you jump to about the spot that you want to shine spark, and then you let go of B, and then you do, uh, I like to consider it an inverse fireball, so you start from up, so you press up, and that starts her to do the uh, shine spark, and then roll it to forward, and then press B, or jump, as soon as you uh, hit forward. So that combination so of forward go. and jump will make her go forward. So let go of the jump button, hit up, hit forward, hit jump again. Is And this is in quick succession? In quick succession. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I've never been able to do that. I did it once on accident. And I was just like, oh my god. And then I thought I had to figure it out. And I didn't. Now, I always hate having to come back down this way with so, such low health. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks with all the beeping. Well, not even that. It's just, I always think I'm going to die. It's surprisingly benign. <laughs> like, like it's so dangerous the first time through, especially if you go through without the gravity suit the first time. Um, or since you go with the, without the gravity suit, but everything does so little damage to you here. Like, I think I took four damage every time I did a damage boost there. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. so. so we could drop that there and just drop down. And then, um... Go ahead and refill our energy because Meridia is a beast. So uh, you don't do the uh, the pause during the recharge. Now for in-game time, pausing during the recharge is a great idea. Um, this for, tutorial yeah. is kind of more directed towards racing. So when yeah. you do your refills, you don't really want to 
to uh, pause there. And that was another damage boost that I've not really seen many people do. Yeah, off the cactus in the middle of the room. Yeah. So no, you don't you don't want to pause glitch on those refills. Right. Uh, during not when you're facing no. Yeah. Yeah. So there, if you can get the jump at the very last frame, then you can actually jump up this wall here. And not have to worry about that fish. Uh, right here, a lot of people will go ahead and, and divert to the left and grab the super missile that's the up the wall. Mm -hmm. um, this is for the uh, this is the 24% route. In fact, I will grab those super missiles if I'm if I'm doing an RTA. Uh, because Mother Brain gets really close if you don't have the five extra supers. Right, this is 24, um, meaning you only grab, what, four energy tanks? That's right. That's yeah. right, and I'll be sure to point out when the next energy tank is, is actually coming up very soon. So this one's a pain in the ass mm. to time, even if you know the timing. Uh, but you want to go ahead and... Um, Number one, I didn't point out that I needed the extra power bombs for for this, and I only had I only had one power bomb going into that previous room, so I shot one of the crabs up on the ceiling to get another power bomb. Right. Um, which I wanted for for Botwoon here. Uh, there's the energy tank that you would normally grab right up there. Yeah, that's the one that people normally grab. For be sure to refill here if you need more supers. But anyway, yeah, so so once again, that power bomb wave beam combo, and then typically you want to fire six supers at him. I only had three, so I had to kind of improvise using normal missiles. I fired right. um, nine normal missiles at him, and then I went with the three supers. Yeah, that shine spark that you did there is one of my, it's one of my favorites. It's very if hard to If you can time. get it off. Yeah. Very hard to time. Yeah, shine sparking diagonally, you just hold your angle up button and do a normal shine spark. Okay, now I'm curious to see what you do here now. Okay, the strategy for Dragon is to start out with... Um, you can do a quick charge here. So the quick charge, the way I do it, is I press direction, run, 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 run. Kinda in that tempo. Um, in in this room, you can actually build a charge with only two taps. So it could be like left run, run, and then you just hold that last run. So, and then you try and get him down to where another shine spark will kill him, and then you do another shine spark. And ideally, you will have the blue suit. And with the Man. blue suit, you cannot run or else it will just disappear. And the reason right, why you want the blue so. suit here is... Um, and you can disregard any power-ups for now because there's another spot on the way that'll that'll help you get more power-ups. So, But the reason why you want the blue suit, of course, is so you can do a charge and shine spark back across the room. That long, painful room. Yeah. Yeah. So what did, what did the time on this one end up being? 32. 32? Yep. Not... Some people have done better in real time. Those people are amazing. But, um... 32. Yeah. Man. So really, this is just go get the plasma beam, and then get the heck out of there. Go to Ridley. Do you know what the current record is for any percent? Uh, 31, I believe. 31? Yeah. And I believe that is a single segment run. Right. Usually in any percent run, it's typically single segment. Usually. Well, it's just because um, that's how Hot the Ruby is, and he's the one that holds the current record. Like, before him, 
I think the record was 36 segmented. And the current record for 100% is... Uh, 50, I believe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Also uh, single segment? Yes, also single segment. Okay. I don't know, I'd be happy if one day I could get 59. I'd, I'd quit. I'd that's really my goal. I'd like to get 59. I'm right there at one hour. But yeah. So this is actually the exact opposite you would go in 100%. Yeah. Which always confuses me. Right. Yeah, because usually you'll come up from there, and then get plasma, and then... Yeah, Red, Red Scarlet's run is seven years old, so... It's outdated. It's, it's Yeah, it's quite outdated. It's, it's outdated, and it's multiple segment. It's seven segments. Yeah. Seven segments, which Actually, was uh, uh, strange at the time, because most of the most of the hundred percent runs were done in four segments. I think, like maybe five, I guess, if you can't series. But um, seven segments—that was a lot. Yeah. So now we're just going straight down. Basically, we're trying to get to Lower North Fair as quickly as possible. But we are going to make a stop on the way to refill our ammo and our health. That was an interesting kind of thing that I accidentally discovered. That little clip over the edge and then shoot down. Yeah. Yeah. So so here I only refill until I get to at least three energy tanks and ten super missiles, I think. Um, oh no, I just go till ten super missiles, uh, which is which is capacity for this run, I think. Um, Starting out, you'd want to have 15 super missiles, and that's the place you want to fill them up because uh, there's no real better spot to fill them up for the rest of the game. And if at all possible, you want to avoid going back to the ship. So I refilled my power bombs there. My super missiles are all filled up, and I did a super dangerous damage boost right there because <laughs> how much because health I, it takes away for one? Uh, it takes 50 health away, I believe. Yeah, it's a lot. So, yeah, it's it's a lot when your cap is four hundred. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, pretty dangerous to do that damage boost. If you filled up all the way, it's it's not that bad, and especially if you have f uh, four energy tanks at this point, which I recommend starting out. So here we want to do another, this is another of those, you can just two tap, short charge, and your charge is built up before you leave the second room. Do an aerial right. shine spark to the right, as we discussed previously, and uh, kill these guys. You don't have to kill the top one. Climb your way up. So, if the record's a 31 and you got a 32, any interest in going for it? Um, no, no, this, this was done with safe states, that's not... That's not oh, okay. Right. My, my so best this is, is still uh, 40. Okay. This is, this is for instructive say, purposes, like, this is how you do the rooms, basically, if you're not screwing up. Yeah, so pretty much under perfect conditions. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, see, I was the, a little confused with that, I didn't know. The, the ammo management is a little off. Um, actually, I think in this run it does pretty well, uh, especially considering it doesn't pick up a pack that a normal person would probably pick up, and it doesn't pick up an energy tank. Health management is messed up. Ammo management is alright. Um, just, just makes me think if 
like almost everything done perfectly is a 32 how much time did the person have to put well, in to well, 31 there, there are a lot of um, I guess like my room strats are a little more beginnerish than his I imagine he has better room strats than I do and he does a lot better plat grabbing ah, I like how you uh, took care of those space pirates that's yeah, that's my new favorite way to do it. Uh, yeah, that's because when you kill the first me. pirate, it sets up the second pirate for you perfectly. Yeah, I usually uh, do the thing where you jump and fire downward. Yeah, and that's that's, that's another good way to take them out in one shot. So right yeah. now, yeah. Um, the concern here is power bombs because you need more power bombs to escape. But we're gonna wait until after Ridley see how many power bombs we get and then refill as necessary. So Ridley, what you really want to do, or what I do in my normal any percents, is just use 20 charge shots at him. In this case, you know, 9 super missiles acts exactly the same as uh, 6 charge shots, and they're a little faster to shoot. Um, but typically you want to conserve your, your super missiles for end game purposes, because Mother Brain is only defeatable with missiles and super missiles, or at least the first phases. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, in this case, in this case, I know, you know, I know, I know how to conserve super missiles such that I'm going to be okay in the end. Um, it's actually ridiculously close at the end, by the way. Like, to death? Like, um, like, I have one missile left at the end when Mother Brain finally goes into her second phase. So right there, uh, I just shot a super missile at the ceiling to knock those two guys off, because they drop power bombs almost every time. So I just knock them off so I can shoot them real quick, grab their power bombs, and keep going. Interesting. Yeah, that's the fastest way I could think of, because you want to have four power bombs uh, getting out of here. There's So uh, there's one power bomb right here, uh, there's another power bomb that you could use three bombs for, but it takes way longer. And there's yeah, a couple and other spots. Um, yeah, and and I found that this is actually the fastest way to go out. If you use just bombs to break those blocks, I mean, it still saved me half a second to actually kill those guys and do that quick charge speedball, which is ridiculously difficult to do, but totally worth it. Yeah, if you can pull it off, yeah. It's my favorite trick in the game. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's one of my favorites, and every time I pull it off in a run, everyone's really, uh, really interested by it. Mm-hmm. It's flashy. What, what can it I is, say? It really is. The amount of time it saves is minimal, but it's awesome. Mm-hmm. So this one, I figured out later, you can actually freeze that guy instead of shooting him with a missile. Yeah. So a quick little mock ball there, and then just try and climb up as quickly as possible. Uh, that guy at the very top, he, he's hard to manipulate, but I think if you kind of jump high and towards the right, you might be able to do it. So this is where the next power bomb is, and then one more power bomb in the bubble room, and that's all the power bombs you need for the rest of the game. Um, interesting thing for people that don't know uh, how you manage to get through those enemies without you know, getting hurt from coming in contact with them it's basically f like firing a shot at them at the exact frame that you're going to come in contact with them right you know how when Samus takes a hit that she's kind of blinking for a second and then she can go through things or go through enemies yeah. it's yeah. basically the same thing for the enemies but their cooldown time is much much quicker Right, that's what I'm saying, is that for people that don't know, you yeah. just, that's all you do. You shoot, like, right when you're about to come in contact with them, and if you do it correctly, you'll just go through without being touched. And those particular Which, enemies, those, it's those particular, uh, those Kai Hunters that I did that through, they have an ex exceptionally long time. So yeah. Much longer and than other enemies. It's, it's also really nice to do it, though, because they do a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take, like, half a tank or something with the gravity suit on. Yeah, 
Right, and if you either way, if you try to just tank it, it's going to do a lot of damage that you, you know health that you need, or your option is to kill them, which takes really long as well. So it's definitely best to do that, which is something that you need to learn. So we're heading up to the surface here through Meridia, um, because Meridia has this nice quick exit into Red Brinstar. Yeah, exactly. Next item, beat the game. So we've we've gotten all the items. We just as soon as you beat Ridley, it's just make a beeline for Turian and beat the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen Cassius doing much recently, but then again, he did get a job, so he's probably just busy with that. Probably. I find it funny, though, that he gets a 36 after coming back from not playing it for a while. <laughs> well, he had the 36 for at least a week, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, there was, like, a time that he was working, so he couldn't play much, then he comes back and... Um, oh, yeah, Just gets okay. 36. It's just like, okay. But, you know, I'm the same way with stuff. After I take a break for a while, I'll come back and... I'll be better somehow. Yeah, breaks I, breaks are very important. Yeah, I think more than anything, what it does is it allows you to break bad habits. Yet the good habits, mm -hmm. like, skills are still there. And every speedrunner's most hated room. <laughs> the room where you have to find something to do to occupy your time. Exactly. So in this case, I'm trying to bomb the eyes, even though it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I usually just try and just, you know, jump and do bomb jumps. Just because... Because there's nothing else to do. And it's like, what, 30, 20, 30 seconds or something? It's or more. a huge time sink. Yeah, it's just a lot of time that is just for nothing. Like, if there was a way to get down through that... Oh man. That would be insane. Next thing you know, somebody finds a way to do it and beats the game in like no time. Yeah. So uh, I did a quick mock ball, that, or not mock ball, but a quick ball in the air to just like get around that little. Yeah, I noticed hand. that. Uh, as far as, like, getting around stuff like that, a, f a normal jump is the slowest to move in the air, and a spinning jump is, is a bit faster. I think a morph ball is about as fast, but the hitbox is smaller, so you can get around tighter spaces that way. Now, that last room, I still... I don't know, like, the way that people get through it, and the way that I do it, it's still... I don't know. I'd have do to something different there? Look at it. Yeah, I definitely do something different. Um, as soon as I go through the door, I shoot down to freeze the first one, and then I uh, I go into a ball and fall through the gap on the right, and then I immediately get up, super the one, freeze the other, and super it. So I don't have to go all the way to the left and fall around the edge of the platform. I just go through the wall, the hole on the right, and Sounds then just good. kill everything really quick. Hey, you notice in the last Metroid room, I decided to kill him with regular missiles since I was kind of running low on supers. Yeah, I did. Uh, regular missiles you can refill. So. Yeah. But yeah, I was talking to Cassius about that before because I still think that that's faster. It might you don't be. have to run all the way to the left to fall off the edge. It's just it really quick. Yeah. I'd have to show it to you. But... Uh, I have a, I have kind of an idea. I'll have to definitely test it out. Yeah, it's just like as soon as you fall through the door, you shoot down, then go into a ball, fall off the thing on the right. And then from there, it's pretty much self-explanatory. So open that door on the right with regular missiles before I go in, uh, since I'm about to refill my missiles right. and my energy. Um, yep. Yeah, the only reason I brought that up is because that's what I see everyone do, is go around on the left. 
Yeah, you may have something there. Because it's not like something that you have to sit around for. It's it's really fast. Right. If you do it right. Right, but part of it is I do want to try and collect power-ups from at least that top Metroid. Yeah, you can. Because okay. he's still in the same spot. Okay. He starts, like, in the same position. So shoot six missiles at the glass, hop in, and then um, unleash unleash it, Mother Brain, until you've uh, ready to kill her. And I needed every single missile, almost. Mm -hmm. well, so that, that well, right there is why you get the extra super pack. Just to kind of guarantee that you don't yeah, give get some other brain and room. then have to game over. Yeah. So, uh, Mother Brain right here requires 20 shots. Um, with the charge plasma ice uh, wave beam. So yeah. basically you just want to not take much damage. If you go below three energy tanks, then you die when she uses the hyper beam. Um, in this case, I was over four tanks, so I took myself down to just above three tanks. Right. You take yeah, that that's the, hit. Yeah. That's the interesting thing about doing four tanks is, uh, you know, a lot of times, one of the reasons people like to get five, I know, is because if you get hit by one of those, uh, strands of, of like, red and yellow balls that she shoots, mm -hmm. it does, uh... It does a full it. tank of damage, and sometimes it'll do two tanks, like yeah, if you get it, hit it by it twice. It depends on, uh... The last time I checked, it depended on, like, what position you were in. Um, like, if you are just standing there, it did two, but if you jump, it does one. Yeah. Like, that's the last thing I thought. And and first phase, Mother Brain, uh, just to reiterate, is you, you have to use missiles on her. You cannot use the beam on her and damage her. So... But yeah, that 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 one attack is is ridiculously dangerous, and I don't know if you've ever tried fighting her suitless, but it does like eight energy tanks of damage. With oh, her suitless, yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> funny story. Uh, the last hundred percent run that I did, I almost ended in disaster. Reason being that I took off my suits to uh, take my health down before she did the the beam. You know, yeah. so I have three tanks. I had like seven. So I had to keep running into her. I forgot to put the suits on before she's at me. And I got saved by my reserves and had like no health left. Wow. It took almost everything. Yeah, I almost punched myself in the face at that point because I thought I was going to die. Because <laughs> I didn't know like how much damage it did with no suits on. Because, you know, you don't usually get zapped with no suits on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I didn't know how much health it would take away. Luckily, I didn't die. I think it does uh, six tanks without any suits. Or I mean, so. It's, it's pretty bad. I mean, it depends on how many times you get hit by it, really. Well, I mean the hyper beam. Oh, the hyper beam, yeah. does six, six, dam or six tanks. Yeah, so I had like a little bit over a tank left when she was done, but it still took a bunch of time because my reserves had to fill up. It was it was bad. It was just bad. It's pretty crazy, you know. I mean, when we started this, it's just nuts how fast this has gone by. Yeah. So, so technically, I think that right there is also a hero shot that I just did to shoot that guy on the way up. Just try and kill all the space pirates that will be a problem before they become a problem. Is, is really my strategy there. And then shine spark on the way out. Don't do a diagonal because it works most of the time, but when it doesn't work, you are just really out of luck. Diagonal? Yeah, I've tried that and it didn't. So I never tried it again. 
Because I saw uh, Cash just doing diagonal, I was like, well, let's try this. No, that was a horrible idea. I used to always use uh, diagonals. And, and then one day she, like, hit nothing. Like, two or three times in a row. Yep. <laughs> it was the worst. Yep, hit something that's not there. Exactly. So... There's, there's the time, and thankfully, Super Metroid rounds down. So, 32.59 is still a 32. Yeah. In this case, it's 32.50, still. Right. Yeah. If it rounded up, that'd be annoying. Because getting to that next minute marker would, would suck. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be awful. Yep, because you're like, oh, I'm at, like, in in my case, oh, I'm in a 41. I wanna, I wanna get a 40. If you get 40, 30 something, it's gonna say, oh, well, you got a 41. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. Seriously. <sighs> it makes you wonder if um, the current 31 would be a 32 under that system or not. Hmm. That's true. Very true. But um. See if the chat has any more questions about this this route this run while the credits are going. So if you guys have any questions, kind of try and fit them in. Yeah, the last maybe there's something sim yeah. simple that we overlooked because it's like second nature to us. Or right, right. Because that's definitely a possibility. Just gotta practice. That's right. We gotta. I still need to practice more. Um, Chronic, I'm sure, would like to practice more. Uh, I wish I could. It's just, you know, like I said, I have so much going on now. All the time. All right, I mean, so not sh like I work or anything, but Oop. I still have stuff to do. Yeah. Let me let that run in the background. So we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and do shout-outs to everybody in the chat right now. So first off, shout out to Chronic because I mean, thanks for for coming on. It was basically you were in there for like two minutes, and I'm like, hey, you want to do this? <laughs> so, yeah, no problem. It's fun. It's awesome that you could do that. Uh, shout outs to Angry Rocks, Ashtan, Beowulf Rules, Chosa Zero, CLG Total, Immigration Bear, Kenbo, Seventeen, Crimmy Doodle, Chronic Sauce, uh, which is you, obviously. Yes. Uh, Launder. McCarnick, Obda Jr., Regison, um, Ardan27, Senior Spangeel, Sinus BP, uh, Sakosinex, Solar Flare, Steve B468, The Brown Sound, The Wajd, Unfi, oh, Unfi, <laughs> Unsunger, Viva Hate, and Yappa Yappa Yappa. Oh, Umphy. <sighs> Umphy, I don't think Umphy was there the last time, but uh, the run was going so horribly that I figured I'd save the animals, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so so that last run, you thought it was going so horribly that you saved the animals, and mm -hmm. you still got a 108? Mm-hmm. Wonder if it would have been a 107. I don't know because I never, <laughs> saved, I never saved at any point during the run. So that's that's Not the one that always gets you. So it could have been a 107. Yeah, but it was it was bad anyway. So I'd rather have, honestly, in my opinion, I'd rather have a good 108 than a crappy 107. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, that's no, I totally get you. I totally get you. That's just me. It's like, you know, even if. I get a good time if I'm not playing my best. It's like, well, did I really deserve?